Hi. This sounds so fake. Oh my god. Anyway. Hi. Um, this video is from April 22nd and it's currently June 2nd. So, you know, a lot of time has passed since then. And, you know, looking at back at it, um, yeah, it's just showing how exactly how I felt back then. So, enjoy. I mean, it's not really enjoyable. It's kind of me rambling about how I feel or trying to explain how I feel, which is a little hard. But if you do understand what I'm trying to portray, you can leave your comments down on like, I don't know, if you've ever been away from your family and your friends for a long time and how you feel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy and maybe you can relate on some levels. Hopefully you can relate, you know, we're all humans. And I'm gonna leave you to the video. Bye. So today, um, let's just say I'm not feeling super great. Um, this past two weeks, I've been feeling a little bit homesick. Um, homesick slash overwhelmed by being here. I've been here for almost five months now. It's hitting me just now that like I am by myself. <laughs> like away from my family, away from my friends, away from the comfort of my room, the comfort of knowing the language around me. The comfort of being comfortable. And since I've been in a, on a break for the past two weeks, I've kind of like realized, like, boy, I've been pushing myself so much. Like pushing myself, like in a good way. Like pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Learning language. And I remember learning English a while when I was in eighth grade. That's when I changed school and I went to an English school. And that's when I was like. This is giving me a headache. I look like... Jesus, I look like I've been like not sleeping. Even though for the past four days I've been going to sleep at like 10, maximum like 12. And then waking up at like 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. So like I've been sleeping a lot. What means the comfort of my home? You know, I, lo I love being here. I feel really comfortable here. Like, but you know, nothing can replace home. <laughs> and you know, it's normal because in the future I'm gonna be like living on my own. I'm gonna have my own thing. I'm gonna have my own life. So it's the first time I'm feeling. It's not even like because I love being here. I feel comfortable here. I feel like I'm discovering more about myself here. But in this, to discover yourself, you have to constantly be out of your comfort zone. Comfort zone, like constantly. Like, you know, I feel like I've been like, you know, this is my zone, right? I'm like in my own bubble thing, like over here, like, you know, feeling comfortable and, you know, not trying new things. And, you know, it's awesome and all, but it gets kind of boring after some time. And then, you know, there's the outside where like it's your I will get it's like danger zone because you have to try new things it's like you're safe here and then you're not safe on the outside and it's been like a while since I've been feeling like I constantly on the outside and there's not really a place for me to be like in my safe bubble, you know? Oh, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> but I feel like I am being so like, 
I I have not figured out what my strength my strength are like in my for like my future. I have a lot of things that I like but scare me or I don't feel comfortable or I feel like I'm not good enough even though I could study at university to be good at, in that area, you know? Or I don't know, like internship in something that I would like to do and maybe be comfortable. But like it's the thought of like putting myself out there. Which everyone feels that way. To put yourself out there is so scary. Mm. I have to solve a lot of things in my or things that I've, I've been stopping me because of my past <laughs> the things I've been stopping me because in, in my past things happened that now shape me the way I look at life or I look at people, the way I look at myself and it's not healthy and I've realized that and it's so like annoying and I didn't discover that like that like later on in life but still it's so like frustrating because I could have been doing so much more now and been so much I could have done so much more already and I'm in this past two years when the people are like oh you're only you know your only obstacle is yourself in certain things and it's true I am getting homesick but I'm more of like I'm getting I'm realizing more and more on things I have to work on and those things are mm, I'm already crying right now oh my god those things are My points are, I gotta work on myself and work through the things that make me the anxious person I am today and I used, I, I was not like that because, I mean, weird fact, I have like three YouTube videos that I made in like 2013, 14, yeah. Uh, with my friend Luel and shout out to you Luel <laughs> but I made three videos with her and we were like planning to do this whole like YouTube thing and I looked at my videos wow I was I was good back then it made me sad to like compare I like compare myself to like back when I was like 13 and how open I was with myself and how free I was of being myself and how happy I was I mean I'm still happy now and overall I'm pretty overall happy person but there's so many things that I realized that I have to work through I'm gonna go now because I need to have food because I haven't eaten yet so Bye.